Welcome back, everyone, to the Bitcoin Business Bureau. I'm your host, as always, Litecoin Leader. Today, I wanted to talk to you about a foreign country that you probably heard about a lot this year, but it's got significant implications in the next month or so on supply chain. And something significant in that calendar is happening a little earlier next year. So what that's, what's that mystery uh, country I'm going to talk about? China. That's what we're talking about. So China, Chinese New Year is coming in January instead of February next year. And those of you who have never worked with China for manufacturing or anything like that or going through China, it's important for a number of reasons. For most of supply chain, but it impacts cryptocurrency because the Bitcoin miners all come from there. That's where Bitmain is. And, you know, the, the hash, like the Bitcoin miners are still going to run. That, don't get me wrong. But what happens during Chinese New Year is that the country shuts down for weeks. Okay. Fa all factories shut down. And the new year is a big celebration and it's a big deal over there culturally. And everyone who's working in factories typically goes home. That's not like going home from work for most of Americans. This is like literally going hundreds of miles away from where you work back home because home and work are hundreds of miles away. They're like, like, like it could take days to get from work to your little village, wherever you are in China. So what happens is they shut down like a couple of weeks in advance of Chinese New Year. People travel back to their home village. That's where they all, all the families get back together and they celebrate the New Year as a family unit and or in, in their local area. So that's what they do. And it impacts supply chain because a lot of things to come through China. A lot of things have to have to be brought from China um, materials like some chips, some things that you can only get in China right now. And it impacts a lot of supply chain, like iPhones and stuff. So after Christmas, Merry Christmas, everyone. Uh, happy holidays, wherever you do. But hey, Merry Christmas. I forget the part where you can't say Merry Christmas. I'm saying Merry Christmas. So Merry Christmas, everybody. But th as soon as we get past Christmas and then our New Year's here in the United States, and those who follow the Julian calendar... Uh, we're going to go over to like China and it's going to be normally it's February and normally mid February, every, everyone shuts down. It's used to it around Valentine's Day. It moves a lot because it's based on lunar cycles. And uh, that's why they also call it the lunar new year. Well, the new year happens earlier this year because when the, the way the full moons align uh, and it just happens in mid January, I think it's the 21st this year. Leave a comments what, what that might be, um, what the exact date is, because uh, I'm not certain, but in any event, if it's January 21st, then the whole country is going to basically shut down about January 6th, January 7th, somewhere around in there. Significant dates, some. But in any event, China will shut down for a while, so that could be lead to major events in the quiet period for the banks that will maybe closed a lot too. Who knows? We'll see what happens over in China. Uh, we've seen that as being an issue in the past year, but supply chain is going to be shut down. Uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of manufacturers, this, this may help. Uh, uh, ease the supply chain in the United States, believe it or not, because there's a lot of companies that are overstocked right now. Home Depot, Lowe's, Target, Walmart, the big box stores that ordered a bunch of stuff in the last year haven't been able to sell it because people weren't buying stuff. And they're hoping to unload a lot of stuff as we have, what is it? It's like the 19th. So it's less than a week till Christmas. So people are going to be looking, I would say that there's going to be huge deals this week um, with Christmas and they're trying to sell people at the big box stores at the malls, everywhere they can. They have too much stuff because not a lot of people have disposable income to go buy things for Christmas. Now, I, I always grew up, no matter what, I, I had hard times when the real estate market went under about 15 years ago, never skipped on Christmas for the kids. So I think a lot of people are still going to do that, even though it's going to be pretty lean this year. They're going to use credit. They'll go deeper into credit, uh, deeper into debt, just to like get the kids the stuff that they want because you don't want to have a bad Christmas for your kids ever. I understand that, and I think that's a good thing to do. But your kids are going to play with every toy, so be, be cautious with that. And be careful with what toys you buy for yourself because they could be on sale, you know, a couple weeks later. Typically, electronics, especially televisions, go on sale as you get closer to the Super Bowl, which I think is February 9th or so this year. So it'll be after that Chinese New Year. So you look for like a lot of electronics go on sale. I'm hearing a lot of cars are just going down in price. Not a lot of people are getting cars, not a lot of loans for cars, but I wanted to put this out there for, for those of you who didn't know about the Chinese New Year and how that lunar calendar may impact everyone across the globe for supply chain. 
Uh, it'll be interesting. It'll be really interesting to see how long that's going to go for an impact. Uh, I'd love to hear your comments about what you think about that particular topic, but it's a pretty significant deal. It's a big thing globally on the global side as we're in a global global financial system, global supply chain. It's a big deal for uh, so for supplies and everything. But hey, while those of you may notice that the, I'm in a particular spot, uh, I'm in I'm in Patrick's office, which is now Patrick and Jeff's office. Yes, I have moved. I'm officially now here in Oregon. We're in Albany, Oregon, about an hour south of Portland between Salem and Eugene. Uh, decision I made just because I can move and Patrick couldn't, but I decided that I would come out here. And uh, it was a good move for me because now Patrick, like you can get a lot of things done, a lot more communication, a lot more brainstorming. And quite frankly, it's very hard. Uh, as much as we talk on the phone, it's much easier to do in person. It's just things brainstorm together. So you'll be seeing a lot more videos. You'll see Patrick probably on a video tomorrow. Um, but we'll, we'll be doing a lot more collaborative stuff, a lot more brainstorming together, a lot more, you know, we'll be in the same videos and we're doing, we have, we're already making plans for next year. So stay tuned for a lot of things coming. Um, we're going to be doing an event in January in the Milwaukee area. Uh, I, I need to get the exact date. I will announce that shortly. Um, but that's in the Milwaukee area. I'm working with Eva that who's up there and it's going to be an economic preppers event. Uh, we will probably have another economic prepper show after Christmas before New Year's. Try to squeeze one of those in and start promoting that venue. Uh, we are talking to a number of larger channels, uh, but we also want to talk to smaller channels. So if you're a smaller channel and you would like to have either on this show or on economic preppers, let it me know what you want to talk about. Um, we want to help everybody grow. Uh, we want to grow ourselves, but we also want to help people grow themselves too. So I, um, channels like the Staple Crew. Uh, and other channels that I've talked to, reach out again. I, I know I'm in talks with the Staple Crew. I'd love to let, let's figure out a time and put, to put a video together. Uh, I know I'm talking with Chris at Financial Preppers, um, who's part of Ninja Nation. We're going to probably do something probably after the holidays. Who knows? It's very hard to get anything done between Christmas and New Year's. It just is. Uh, Bill Noble, formerly of uh, Token Metrics, will be working together. So there's lots of us that know each other now. And that, you know, Patrick and I are able to get out there and Socialize more, do more local events, uh, do more regional events. Uh, so we'll be going around. The, like if you're in the West Coast, you'll probably see more of us. Uh, anywhere from Washington to California to uh, Colorado, you'll be seeing a lot of us. So, but we we are working on our budget. We are working on. Uh, we have some major things that we have in store coming up, and we'll be sharing those as they pop up. But for right now, I want to let you know this video. A little bit of change of scenery, a little bit about things that are going on, and also the, the latest and greatest that's going on with the Chinese New Year. So with all that said, I can't wait to read your comments. And I read everyone. I appreciate you guys, what uh, all the videos that you watch, and uh, subscribing and sharing, all uh, the thumbs up, all that cool stuff that you guys do to help me break the algorithm and actually get this message out. That's the whole point. I don't make these videos just, just I, I would. I, I talk to myself all the time anyway, but now I have an excuse because I get to talk to a camera and talk to you guys. And, but I want to make it more interactive. Like that's why we do the AMAs and we have our last AMA of the year for our subscribers on Wednesday. Um, but we, we love talking to you guys. We love helping you guys. And if we know that there's going to be a lot of help that's going to be needed out there. Um, I do have yet another website that I'm, I just per purchased that'll be an interesting domain. Uh, that'll probably point over to Litecoin Leader or other things that we're doing. But always something going on. I uh, can't wait to read all your comments. I'm going to stop there for now. You can always talk. You can always talk for some more. But hey, this is why you follow the leader. So with all that said, I'm going to close the door on the bureau. Say follow the leader one more time, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.